Hi, Joshua. Thank you for sharing your project with Kickstarter. You're off to a great start, but you'll need to edit your project description before we can approve it to launch. Kickstarter is a place to fund creative projects. Unfortunately, fundraising for charity or promising to donate funds raised to a charity or cause is not allowed. We assure you that this is not a reflection on the positive intentions behind your project. We ask that you revise your description so that it clearly states that no money raised through this Kickstarter campaign will be donated to charity. Once you've made this change, please reply to this message and we'll be happy to take another look. Best, Kickstarter trust and safety. So with those recommendations, I took this definitely not 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 anything purporting supporting charity um but made it definitely definitely not something that's a charity or a nonprofit because that's not what this is about so the kickstarter campaign is this this is the main description and then we'll get into the items later so some kid in elementary school made a t-shirt design for the university of tennessee uh, he was bullied, and as a response to that, the university made his design an official shirt. I saw that and drew up a legally ambiguous shirt design that wouldn't get me in any hot water with the University of Texas at Austin. And here it is. That's Beepo. Um, now, you may be thinking, hey, that sounds like Bevo. No, completely different words. Uh, this one has two E's, a P. That is completely different. If you, if you want... If you asked a computer to compare the words, it would be different. Anyways, so that's that's the drawing that started it all. Um, I'm just going to read verbatim because I can't paraphrase and also read. It trips me up. So based off of the reaction that the image garnered on the Facebook group, UT Long Memes for Hornsy Teens, I figured I could make this a strictly and soulless cash grab instead of putting the money to a good cause. I was fortunate enough to make it through college without being without having too much issue. Uh, frankly, I loved balling on a budget and hardly being able to afford food. Uh, it's not a problem. And I'm pretty sure many people can relate to that. For some, food security, food insecurity, is not a problem that can cascade into ruining a whole heck of a lot. Now, on an unrelated note, the University of Texas has taken steps to alleviating the pain that hunger and food insecurity can cause with their in-house food bank, and uh, let's be perfectly clear, I think that is an idea not worth investing in. Uh, further, I'm going to do some legal disclaimers to avoid getting sued. Uh, this is the part where I shuffle my feet. Kickstarter and their rules explicitly say that uh, only businesses are allowed here. They only want fresh ideas, fresh memes. Um, so I'm going to hit you with the hot dab of I'm making fresh shirts. And that's it. Uh, they want to make sure people are selling actual products, which I get. You know, there's been some controversy in the past where people sell ideas and then didn't deliver them because they're ideas, and then people got upset. So Kickstarter is covering their bases. So that being said, absolutely none of the money gained from this is going to any charity whatsoever. And I'm not being sarcastic. None of this is sarcasm. Uh, I promise. So... Just to set the record straight, in case you're not getting it, for all intents and purposes, legally, you're buying a shirt with the design on it. I'm not sure how innovative Kickstarter wants me to be, but I, I think that's pretty innovative. It's a new design. I've not seen it. I made it. If someone else has done it, I, I've not seen it. Sorry. Now, because this is Kickstarter and there's different tiers, if you're feeling a bit crazy and or only want to pay me and me alone more money, you can buy the exact same shirt for more money. The different backing tiers may include promises of additional things done to the produced shirts. However, the things I will do or attempt to do for the higher monetary backing people will add, at best, arbitrary amounts of value to that shirt. And I in no way promise that you will be able to make any sort of return profit from the purchase of one of these shirts, regardless of the additional changes made to the shirts. Now, I will say the only thing I want to stand for in regards to the functionality of the shirts is that they should at least be able to be worn for three wears. If it's anything less than that, then frankly, I just have an issue with whoever I bought the shirts from. I'm trying to do my best and vet and make sure that it's a good company. 
but I mean, you're buying shirts online. How you, you, you always, you ever shop online and be like, man, that looks cool. And you buy it and it, and it's not cool. It like falls apart. I'm looking at you wish anyways. Uh, yeah. So that's, that's the only thing I'll really fight for. I figure if we have enough shirts that just fall apart, I can have, I can make a complaint and then get that fixed. But that's, that's besides the point. Anyways, I also have some unverified donation, or not, not donation, um, purchase, backing incentives, uh, which are aptly labeled with the appropriate warnings that it, it will say maybe. It's like asterisks and it's all caps, so it stands out. Um, now, this is to no note that I cannot guarantee that I'll be able to deliver on these backing perks. Uh, but, you know, I'm hopeful that the stars will align and that I, as well as the semi-promised parties, will be able to deliver. Uh, and this is, it ties back in with uh, what I said earlier. Many companies have promised more and gotten away with delivering less in the past on Kickstarter. So at least I'm making an honest effort on that part. But remember, uh, I'm not promising ideas here. I'm also not promising charity. I'm just promising shirts. Uh, for an example of what the shirts will look like, I have a quickly taped together example. Um, this is through Rush Order Tees that I was able to generate these two. They have a not burnt orange. It is specifically just called Texas orange. For all we know, they could be referring to the sunset and gray and uh, Beepo. Um, I, I want to have a couple more designs because variety is the spice of life. Anyways, this next bit I'm going to steal from Planet Money's shirt Kickstarter that they had in like 2013 and uh, modify it to fit this situation. So, you know, we're going to carry men's, women's, unisex, small, medium, large, extra large, all that, that whole gamut. Uh, don't worry about giving us your size when you pledge. After our project closes, we'll send you a form where you can specify size and type of shirt. Um, and again, I've been, I've been really looking around trying to figure out which place is the best one to get them from. Um, but if you want additional things like a baseball shirt or a frocket shirt or a business suit to have Beepo as a design on it, then hold your horses. I'm just trying to get this out of the way first. Uh, so risks and challenges. This is also a section that they have on Kickstarter. Um, ignore these notes. It's not at all me trying to collaborate with a friend to, to remove all mention that this is definitely not a nonprofit. Uh, the, these are just strictly editing notes. Um, but yeah, it's, it's me detailing the fact that I'm right now just a single person trying to make this t-shirt business, uh, totally innovative concept, by the way, trying to make it all on my own in this world, this scary big world. Um, so I, I'm setting the estimated delivery date for all of these shirts to be sometime in December. Um, and that's that's strictly just so that way I have more time to order shirts. And then once I get shirts in, deliver them to people either by hand or, you know, through the postal service like a sane person. Anyway, now we move on to the fun bit, the, the purchase options and their descriptions. Um, so uh, if you pledge ten dollars, then you get just a Beepo shirt. Uh, I don't want anyone to break their metaphorical or physical banks in order to get this shirt. I just want backers at this purchase here to know that there's not a whole left, a whole lot left over as like overhead. Uh, granted, not that that matters, because like like I've said before, none of this is going to any good cause, and I'm strictly lining my own wallets with this money. Um, I say here the design is somewhat malleable, but I I honestly think it's pretty well set. Uh, just because I don't want to overload the shirt with too much and then have people not want it, if that makes sense. So if you pledge $15, you'll get a Beepo shirt that you just pay more for. Uh, so shipping is not cheap, I'm pretty sure. And also on an unrelated note, food is not cheap either. But that's neither here nor there. So uh, by choosing to buy the same shirt at a higher price point, you definitely help cover the cost of ordering all these shirts and then the additional cost of shipping them off to people. Not as if there's anything else the money will go to. If you pledge $20, you just get a Beepo shirt where you pay double. Um, 
it, it, you're, you're not generous. You're just being a really cool backer, you know? Um, that's, that's strictly it. Uh, if you, if you pay, if you pledge $50, you get a Beepo shirt, uh, along with a high five, you know, cause each digit is part of the base 10 system. And so 50 is the natural, you know, five fingers multiplied by base 10 somehow comes out to 50. That's how that works. If you pledge $100, I'm not running out of things to make this worth your while. Uh, remember, you're doing this strictly because you support my business idea of selling shirts. Uh, none of this money will go anywhere else. But if that's not enough, I can customize the shirts for you. I'll break out some fabric markers or paint and make some custom art on your shirt. You know, that, that may or may not be good. You can frankly ask for no custom art. I wouldn't blame you. Now, if you pledge $1,000, you get the Master Beepo shirt. Um, I'm going to offer you a genuine thanks because, uh, you know, it really is amazing. Back, back to the unrelated note, it's really amazing going through life in college while not being sure when the next time you're going to eat is. Um, and back, back to this business, don't worry about the people who can't eat because you're not charity will never help anyone out because you just gave me all your money. Uh, now, this is where I'm going to try and leverage my connections. And maybe I can get the current UT Austin president to sign your shirt instead of me because that may actually be worth something. That is Greg Finvez. Now, again, it's not validated. And uh, UT, please do not sue me. Now, uh, the mythical Beepo shirt... You can get yours for a low, low price of $5,000. Now, if you've been to the University of Texas at Austin's co-op over there on Guad, you'll know that they have a Swarovski, Swarovski? Longhorn football at the university co-op. Now, I'm not going to say that you're making the right choice by buying a t-shirt for $5,000 versus buying a diamond-encrusted football for $5,000. But I can't not say that you're making the right choice either. Uh, and then if you pledge $10,000, again, uh, another unverified, um, but strictly within the realm of possibility, uh, backer possibility is that I can get your, your shirt signed by Mr. Allwright himself. That is Matthew McConaughey. Again, through the power of connections, I'm going to basically going to assume that Matthew McConaughey has no idea that this strictly for-profit company exists. And then some high rolling, high balling, excess money flowing alumni who really want that sweetest of signatures instead of building another wing to the PCL is going to buy this or back this at $10,000. At this point, I will scramble to contact Matthew McConaughey and let him know that I have a company where I strictly sell shirts for my own benefit and no one else's. Uh, he will appreciate the fact that I am such an entrepreneur uh, and not a philanthropist that he will just wholeheartedly agree and I will not be hit with any cease and desist letters from his lawyers. And uh, that's, that's the basic game plan. Now, if Kickstarter refuses to let this through, um, this is the message that they gave me. If Kickstarter refuses to let this through, despite the fact that I've been nothing but transparent with my, my goals here, with my for-profit company that is in no way a nonprofit or backing a charity or promising to give any of the profits... 100% of the profits, to be exact, to a charity. It is not planning on doing that. If they refuse to let this through, then I will have to boycott Kickstarter and maybe go to GoFundMe. And if that fails, then I may end up going to, I don't know, Venmo? You think Zuckerberg would allow this? Does Zuckerberg allow not charity to, to happen on his business? 
granted, if I go through Venmo, everything will become extremely less streamlined. Um, people will have to refer to images tacked up somewhere on the street that lets them know backing incentives, kind of like what Kickstarter has. And yeah, I frankly, I want to avoid that happening. So that's why I'm releasing this in the hopes that Kickstarter, if they try and kick me, uh, will not. And uh, they'll allow me to exist peacefully with my for-profit business model. Now, other more savvy people in the, in the definitely not non-for-profit world may also have other ideas of other companies or other ways to do this. But let me tell you, spur-of-the-moment decisions are just the thing that I do. Um, I've already priced out the shirts. I've already got that Texas sunset orange color uh, with a long-horned normal bull. Uh, that is not a Texas Longhorn. That is just a Longhorned Normal Bull, whose name is Beepo. Uh, and, and I think it looks really good. This is a nice shirt quality. I priced it out, and frankly, I think I could make this work. There's another company called Bonfire that I really want to love. Here they are. Um, but when I checked them out on a personal basis, their shirt design studio was a little bit limited, and it couldn't quite deliver what I wanted it to do. I have since been in contact with one of the representatives and hopefully they'll be able to, I don't know, uh, dereference a null pointer and get me to where I want to be. And maybe I'll be able to go through bonfire. They'll take care of all the logistics and shipping so that way people don't have to use me as a middleman. And, you know, at that point I can use all the profits, uh, strictly for my own personal gain, uh, and the gain of my company, um, which I don't think I even told you it's, it's kind of, it's kind of in the, kind of in the works, but you, you know, um, I, who gives a shirt? I thought that was a funny, funny for-profit company name. Now that's pretty much it. I'm going to stop talking because about half of you and by half of you, I mean, all two of you have tuned out by this point. Uh, and yeah, thanks. Thanks for, thanks for stopping by. Uh, catch you next time when I, I work on my other project. I don't know what it is. I, I tried to think of something there. I can't. All right, bye.